Hi, this is Theo from Pocketblocks.com. Today I'm going to show you a drawing app called the Medibank Paint Pro. This is a really good drawing app that is free on the Windows desktop, Mac desktop, and also on the iPad. So I recommend you go and download it to try. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the features and also give a review for this drawing app. So let's check it out. Let me launch the app. When you first launch the app, they are going to ask you to create an account with them. And when you create an account with them, you will get features like the ability to save your files onto the cloud server. And also you will be able to download some additional stuff like fonts, backgrounds, templates. It's very useful. I recommend you sign up with them. So let me just show you around the canvas. Let me create a new canvas. There are different templates for you to choose on when you first click this new canvas button. So there are the standard paper sizes like A4, A5, B5, square format. There's also the very useful comic templates where you get to choose from A5 to B5 doujinshi, manga color or even four panel uh, templates. This is very useful and very fast. So I'm just going to pick A4. I'm going to switch the height around. And then everything's okay. I press done. I'm using an iPad Air, the first version. So this is my canvas, the A4 canvas, and this is the working area. Let me just show you the working area. The top row of buttons here, these are actually the tools. For example, we have the brush, eraser, the move tool, scaling tool, transform tool, pin bucket, gradient, selection to magic wand the comic template creation to fonts and the layer button and also the materials button very useful this is the color palette you can turn it on and off and this is the options the settings palette where you can turn it on and off as well if you are using a pressure sensitive stylus you can try and sync with it uh, from what I can see here, it says that it supports Wacom and Adonit devices. I have already synced my Adonit Jot Touch Pixel Point with this app, so pressure sensitivity should work. And there are some additional tools here, like the hand tool. You can press it and you can move around. That is useful if you want to turn on palm rejection. You can turn off, turn on the palm rejection using this button here. Once you turn it on, you cannot use finger gestures like this. So uh, depending on how you want to use your finger gestures, you might want to turn it on and off. The other last thing I want to show you is this uh, shortcut panel here, this horizontal panel. This is actually your own shortcut panel where you can set different buttons to uh, appear or disappear. For example, I have turn on undo, redo, the save button so you can choose to add all your different shortcuts that you commonly use right into this bar at the bottom and you can move it around very useful so let me just show you the first thing I want to do first um, I want to use this comic template creation button now what you can create and draw comic panels using this button you can set the thickness of the stroke so I'm just going to set it to 10 points right now and press done immediately you see that there's this outline here that is being drawn now what is really cool is you can divide this box into smaller boxes again press this button here and this is the divide tool and now you can draw a line across the box you must overlap the line across the box in order for you to cut the box so now this big box is, has been divided into two smaller boxes you can also do a diagonal cut again make sure the line is over the box and cut it and it will divide the box you can also specify the distance between the boxes so for example uh, when you are reading comics usually they have very thick distance between the uh, vertical boxes and very thin distance between a very thin gap between the left and right boxes so you can set that using the settings here as well when you are in the divide tool uh, when you're using the divide tool just now i was talking about the materials so uh, materials is like some templates that you can download for example let me show you some of the different materials that are available 
let me go to their server and download some materials so these are the different black and white comic templates that you can download from what I can see they are mostly location oh there are also some manga lines as well like all these burst lines bubbles and different patterns and backgrounds so you can download any of these for use with your own drawing this is very convenient I have already downloaded one background so I'm just going to import it into my scene but before I do that I want to create a new layer just specifically for that particular scene here you can see that there are different options for you to choose from I will just choose the color layer and then go back to the materials panel and click this so this is the thing I want to import this is actually a alleyway scene probably from Japan let me move it down to this box here okay I'm happy with this and I'll press done let me turn this off this 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 and show you what I have here right now I'm going to cut out all the things that are outside of this panel to do that I'll use the selection tool just click this selection tool um, just now you saw that little pop-up box that's the auto save feature so I'm just going to use the polygon selection tool so I'll click this button here okay and then turn this off to make sure that I get to see everything this is a bit difficult for me to select because I'm actually behind the camera but you just click and drag click and drag and the last click here is here you must go back into the same circle there at the corner so now I have selected this selection let me invert the selection and let me use the cut to, to cut so I've cut out everything now I deselect and now I have my panel here that I can draw on again before I want to draw I will click to create another layer so that I can do my drawing on top of it by the way these layers here there are different modes that you can choose from for example you can choose the different blending modes multiply add overlay screen this is very good and if you want to merge down the layers you can do so so let's try and draw something with the brushes uh, let me show you the brushes oops wrong button so move around here let me show you the different brushes that I have there are a lot of wonderful brushes here so the one I want to show you is probably the normal pen tool so you can change the size here let me set it to maybe 14 pixels and zoom up so they can see so this is a light touch and if you want you can press down harder to get a thicker stroke there is some lag but not too bad if you are using this on the iPad Pro the lag is lesser you won't feel the lag but on the iPad Air, there is some lag as in the lines will track behind the cursor by a bit. It's not really a big issue to me when I'm drawing with it. So um, let's switch to another brush. My favorite brush is the mapping brush because it has this wonderful texture. So let me draw into the other panel box. I'm just going to draw some silly carrot can see that the texture of this brush is really nice it's like a real genie pen on some very rough paper all right let me draw a self-portrait now oops my head is like a potato it doesn't matter let me put some hair and let me create a new layer so that I can add colors on that layer okay it's done and now I'm going to use the pink bucket to add some colors where's the pink bucket button 
choose a button here and then just click is it added nope add it to that area I wonder why let me try again okay now it works per perfectly so you can just click and add click and add and if you don't want to have this area here colored you can use the lasso tool to cut out I'm going to use the lasso click the freeform tool and then draw an area around the eyes if you want to add selection make sure you press this button here to add selection so you can do multiple selections after that you can go and cut out and deselect and this is how it's going to look like let me add let me give myself some purple color hair oops let me use the magic wand selection tool to color my hair let me click here and there's this very useful expand button sometimes when you use the magic wand the selection is not perfect you might want the selection to expand a bit so that when you add color over it you don't get those white spaces so this is where you do that so I've done that I'm gonna click the paint bucket and then click it deselect let me use the brush to, to touch up this area oops notice that this area here is covering the black lines so I have to turn the blending mode to multiply and that's it it's really a very simple software to use very nice and best thing is it's free after you are done with your drawing you can then save it I'm just gonna have a new save and let me go back to the gallery to check out my drawing it should be in this oops it should be in the internal folder there it is and if you want to save this file to Photoshop you can do that just click this button here and note that you can export this to PSD with all the layers intact so this is very nice other formats are like PNG JPEG MDP I don't know what is that but you can export to PSD so you can work on it with Photoshop later on if you want to do things like adding fonts because the font features in this software is not very good so you want to do that in Photoshop palm rejection works most of the time on my iPad Air however if there are some glitches I would actually go and turn on the strict palm rejection mode down here so this will turn off finger gestures until I turn them on again using this shortcut button here this is the hand tool shortcut button very handy um, I think that's all for my video review today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below and I highly recommend you go download the Medibank Paint Pro to try on your Windows desktop your Mac desktop or even on the iPad and this app works very well on the iPad Pro the bigger screen is just so wonderful to draw on so go download it and let me know what you think about it that's all see you in the next video remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more art product reviews sketching tips and techniques bye